Welcome back dear students. In today's video, I am going to discuss catching exceptions and short circuit evaluation of logical expressions in Python. First and foremost, catching exceptions using the try and accept. Earlier we have seen a code of segments where we used input and int functions to read and parse an integer entered by user. By default, whenever we use input function, it will read everything as a string. Later, we used a functions like int and float to convert them to a required end user inputs. Like say for example, if we write a, a code, INP is equal to how old are you, a string stored in INP. And later, age is equal to int of input of INP. So, means it is going to give a user how old are you statement. And when a user enters, like say for example 29 in this case, okay, it is going to print the age. But when, uh, whenever we run such code and enter, instead of entering a, say 29, means a digits, if we enter a string like 20, then it is going to give a error like invalid literal for int because I have told dear students a int can convert only say integer values means a digits to an integer value it cannot convert a b c to an integer value in such cases say the program means the interpreter is going to give an error and then it will going to proceed when we are executing these statements in a python interpreter we get a new prompt from the interpreter and move on to the Next statement means so uh, it will say that okay I am unable to process because uh, you have entered invalid uh, literals then it will proceed it will proceed means it will going to give a new python prompt where we can enter in uh, next statement whereas this will not be the case when we write a script whenever we write a script in python and uh, when this error occurs our script immediately stops in its tracks and trace back it doesn't execute the next statements whereas in case of uh, interpreter whenever a such error occurs it will stop there whereas it will be ready to accept the next statement when the same thing is done with the script it will not proceed further it will stop there itself like say for example if we see say here uh, a piece of code is there to convert a Fahrenheit to a degree Celsius in is equal to means INP is equal to input enter Fahrenheit temperature here we are reading a temperature in float means whatever the temperature will be read it will be converted to a float and later it will be calculated to a degree Celsius based on the formula Fahrenheit minus 32 into 5 by 9 later print Celsius when we run this script whenever there are some invalid input then it simply fails with the unfriendly error message something like this if you see if everything goes well say for example if I store that script in a file called Fahrenheit.py when I execute that script using Python interpreter it will going to ask enter a Fahrenheit temperature and when I enter the temperature so if input is valid it will going to convert as per the formula whereas when we run the same script with the input like say for example here fred fred in such case it will going to terminate with a val with a error the error will be something like a value error could not convert a string to float means whatever the string you had en entered say it cannot be converted to a float means this is what a, a unfriendly error where say we are not familiar with such errors there is a conditional execution structure built into python to handle these types of expected and unexpected errors called try and accept. Using try and accept, we can say handle such type of errors. Let's see uh, what a try and accept block is. The idea of a try and accept is that some sequence of instruction or instructions may have a problem and we want to add some statements to be executed if error occurs whenever some errors will occur if those errors occurs we want to execute a, some special set of a statement to handle those errors and these extra statements which oftenly we are going to place in a accept block we'll see the syntax a little later are ignored if everything goes right whatever these extra statements we are going to add in a block called accept will be ignored whenever there are no errors if everything goes well this extra statement will not be executed. Whereas when there are errors, then this accept block means extra statements which are kept in accept block will be executed 
to handle such type of errors. We can think of a try and accept feature in Python as insurance policy. Like if everything goes well, no problem. It will proceed for as it is. If something accident occurs, then this much amount. If something else occurs, this much amount. Means based on some sequence of statements, it will be executed. Uh, before I rewrite and use a try and accept block, means exceptions, Say so just uh, let me do one thing. I am going to show you the execution. Let me start Python 3 interpreter by using the command Python 3. So now here this code I am going to type and show you the output. Say so what this code is. Say so I use the same thing. INP is equal to say input inside this the temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay. So this INP is equal to input enter temperature in Fahrenheit. Here. Say so if we enter some temperature like say 29. Next statement I'll write FAHAR is equal to whatever is there in INP, I'll convert that to float. So later I'm going to calculate SEL Celsius is equal to it is FAHR minus 32.0 into 5.0 divided by 9.0. Now I'm going to print SEL. Yes, right. Now say so once again I'll execute this input. So let me enter some 72 then I'll convert that to a float and later calculate a degree Celsius. Lastly I am going to print Celsius. Means 72 Fahrenheit is nothing but a 22.2222 degree Celsius. This is in interpreter. Say for example when I enter say this time instead of entering 72 if I enter say for example uh, something like uh, python then later I am going to convert be whatever is uh, there in uh, uh, INP to a float. Here I am getting could not convert string to a float. Later whatever I enter say uh, means it is ready to accept the statement. Next step. The same thing when I write in a script like say here I use uh, some uh, farren.py as a file name and I will type the same. Say same thing like INP is equal to. So afterwards I use far like say farren INP. I am going to convert whatever is there in INP to a floating point number. Later Say this I want to convert to a degree Celsius using the formula Faren minus 32.0 into 5.0 by 9.0. Print this Celsius. So this is a script. I'll just save it. To execute this script, I use Python 3 interpreter. Now we can see enter temperature. Say if I execute say 76, it has converted that. Okay. So next once again I'll run. Uh, let me this time enter 98 and it has converted. And when I enter say something like python then it will going to give an error. It will not continue. Means our program has terminated. Such a type of errors can be handled using try and accept blocks. This can be handled using try and accept. Let us see how to write rewrite the same code so as to handle such type of error. Here if you if we see say INP is equal to input enter Fahrenheit temperature. The code actually that will give error is this. This is the code that will going to give an error. Whichever the code you think will give the error that should be placed within a try block. So the syntax is something like this. Try is a reserved word or keyword then colon then write all those statements with proper indentation which you think may give the error and later accept colon and place all those statements which you want to execute upon getting those errors. Here simple thing dear students say the error will be because of invalid input. In, within a try we are going to place all the statement which depends upon that input and if everything goes well this accept block will not be executed. If any errors are there in try then only accept block will be executed. This is a built in feature of a python to handle such exceptions. So whichever the statements will going to give errors place those statements in a try block and upon error how to handle means what to do all those statements should be placed in a acceptable say what i do i'm going to copy the earlier uh, uh, program so the earlier program name is farren.py so the same program i'll copy using uh, some other name like uh, say farren2.py say let me open that yes here I am going to edit this. After reading the input, everything I am going to place in a try block. This everything will be inside try block. And afterwards, here say except. Now try to understand one thing, dear students. Once uh, earlier I was telling, editor is going to identify the reserve words or keywords. 
and there those reserve words will be printed will be typed in a different uh, colors like you can see here INP is different, input is different, try is different, Faran is different. See, these colors, colors are in, these are the reserve words. These black colors are variables. In except what I am going to type is print, please enter a number. Very simple. Now say, I am going to save this and say execute this script using Python 3 interpreter. Now say, if I type 89, everything goes well, no problem. But now, so if I type say Python now, see this is very important dear students. Earlier you got a some unfriendly error message. Now it is properly telling you please enter a number. The meaning is we have not entered number. It is telling us to enter number. This is very important thing by when handling a say such errors. Python starts by executing a sequence of statements in try block. If all goes well, it skips the accept block and proceeds. If an exception occurs in a try block. Python jumps out of try block and executes the sequence of statements in accept block. So, this is what I have shown. Now, handling an exception with a try statement is called catching an exception. In the previous example, the accept clause prints an error message. In general, catching an exception gives us a chance to fix a problem or try again or at least end the program gracefully. Otherwise, the program is going to end with a unfriendly miss error message we can avoid that and take one of these three steps either say one thing is we can fix the problem the second thing so or else we can try the uh, try again means like uh, like in this example whenever a user is going to enter a invalid number we'll at least tell him to please enter a number so that he'll try again with a proper number uh, at least uh, sometimes we can end the program gracefully stating that so and so error occurred such things can be implemented using try and accept the block. Hope this is clear to all of you dear students. So this is just a introduction to try and accept such things we are going to use whenever we encounter in our say python script. But try to understand uh, when we, uh, we need to handle some expected or unexpected errors in python. So those can be handled using a try and accept blocks. With this I will proceed further to short circuit evaluation of a logical expressions. This I had told in one of the video. When Python is processing a logical expression such as x greater than or equal to 2 and x by y is greater than 2, it evaluates the expression from left to right. Because the definition of and if x is less than 2 and expression x is greater than or equal to 2 is false means if this expression is false, the first expression is false and so whole expression is false obviously because it's a and logical and operation if one of its expression means one of its operand is false the result will be false itself regardless of whether the next uh, operand is true or false irrespective of that result will be false when python detects that there is nothing to be gained by evaluating a list of rest of logical expression it stops its evaluation and doesn't do the computations in the rest of logical expressions. In this case, whenever this first expression results into false, obviously there is no need of evaluating the second expression because the result is going to be false itself. When the evaluation of logical expression stops because the overall value is already known, then such type of evaluation we call it as short circuiting the evaluation means it will not continue further it will stop there it will short circuit means it will stop the evaluation and give the result while this may seem like a fine point the short circuit behavior lead to a clever technique called guardian pattern so this is one of the very important thing dear students uh, i'll tell you how so consider a following sequence of uh, uh, code here if you see x is equal to 6 y is equal to 2 and so the same code x is greater than or equal to 2 and x by y is greater than 2. So obviously x is 2 and y, uh, x is uh, 6 and y is 2 means 2 is uh, uh, greater than or it is equal to 2. This condition is true and when it comes here, uh, so x is 6, 6 by 2 is that is greater than means 3 which is greater than 2. True and true is true only. So in next case, if you see x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, say x is not greater than 2 because x is 1. This condition itself is false. 
when this condition is false it will not evaluate this then the result is false whereas the third case if you see x is 6 and y is 0 x is greater than 2 the condition is true because x is 6 when you start evaluating x by y x is 6 and y is 0 you will get a 0 by uh, division by 0 error and because of that it is going to fail 0 division error uh, such type of error should not occur we can use a technique of short circuit evaluation and using that technique we can guard this type of expression evaluation of this type of expression how let me tell you that the third calculation failed because python was evaluating x by y and y was zero which causes a runtime error i think uh, dear students this type of error this is a second type of error you, you which you are say, hearing now the earlier so in earlier video i i discussed about one type of error which was a semantic error and this is a runtime error and so many times here and there we have discussed syntax error say so runtime error means it the error which occurs during execution of the program but the second example did not fail because first part of the expression was evaluated to false and because of that there was a short circuit rule because the first x was not greater than or equal to 2 it failed and this particular thing guarded this even though y was 0 you didn't get this error because this expression guarded the second expression now say we can construct a logical expression to strategically place a guard evaluation just before the evaluation that might cause an error like say for example if we see dear students here x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 x is greater than or equal to 2 and y is not equal to 0 and x by y greater than 2 if you see dear students y is 0 but y if y is not equal to 0 then only it will proceed further one thing is see x is greater than or equal to 2 here x is not greater than or equal to 2 it will fail forget about this whereas in this case x is 6 so x is greater than 2 but y is not equal to 0 y should not be equal to 0 if y is not equal to 0 then only it will evaluate this means this particular second expression will going to guard this third exp expression if y is not 0 then only it will evaluate x by y whereas in this case the same expression i have placed at the end but this will not guard because if x is greater than or equal to 2 it will directly evaluate this but in this placing this particular expression before evaluation of x by y it will going to guard this if y is not 0 then only it will be evaluated means we can use a short circuit evaluation strategically so that it will going to guard the evaluation which may cause a error like this hope this is clear to all of you dear students the first logical expression falls so evaluation stops whereas in second expression okay this is true but y was not equal to 0 is false so it never reaches x by y whereas in third logical expression y was not equal to 0 is after x by y calculation so the expression fails with an error so in the second expression we say that y is not equal to 0 acts as guard to ensure that we only execute x by y if y is non-zero we can use this type of short circuit evaluation to guard a say some error uh, to guard a errors in the calculation this is all about short circuit evaluation of logical expressions hope this is clear to you dear students thank you thank you for watching